the debate between, you know, Medicaid for all or whether there's a public option or a gradual integration or Obamacare, whatever it is, it's all about moving deck chairs around in the Titanic because it's shifting costs from one person to another. Is it the doctors who pay the costs? It's going to be the hospitals who pay the costs? It's going to be the HMOs, the pharmaceutical companies, the government? Who's going to pay it? That's the only debate that's going on. And what we should be saying is how do we reduce the cost? We pay $4.3 trillion for health care. That dwarfs what anybody else pays in the world per capita. We're paying two or three or four times what European nations do, and we're getting worse outcomes. When I was a kid, we had the best healthcare system in the world. The care that Americans get when they are sick, if they get any at all, is some of the worst in the world. And we have the highest chronic disease burden on earth. 93% of Medicare costs are chronic disease and yeah. something like 85% of, of Medicaid. If we can get rid of chronic disease, we can solve our healthcare crisis in this country, which is also the economic crisis. The second biggest cost to America is the military, which if you include national security and veterans benefits, 1.3 trillion a year. Well, this is 4.3 trillion, more than three times what the military cost. It's by far the biggest cost we have, but we want to reduce the budget deficit. We got to start with this. It's highly likely that in the next 20 years, we're going to face some catastrophic crisis in our country. It could be an economic meltdown. It could be a war, it could be environmental injuries, catastrophes, whatever. We're America. We can weather any kind of storm. We have our entrepreneurial impulses. We have the greatest natural resources in the world. We'll figure out a way around it. As long as you're healthy, we can figure it out. But if you got a chronic disease, or if you're caring for a child with full-blown autism, that reduces your productivity to probably 10 or 20 percent of what it would normally be. The key is to get Americans healthy again so that we can be resilient and that we can cope with these kind of crises.